Microsoft has launched Windows 11 with many new features. It has a unique fresh and minimal design. Windows 11 inspires creativity and empowers user productivity. In this video, I'll show you 10 exciting new Windows 11 features you should try. My name is Amin and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So let's get started. The first feature is the new start menu. Of all the new Windows 11 features, the new launcher style floating start menu is the most distinctive part of Microsoft's next generation desktop OS. Unlike the traditional start menu, the start menu is right at the center of the taskbar. It has a float design with pinned and recommended apps. It quickly offers access to documents, photos and recently installed apps. It's fast and resolves your queries smartly and provides the best results instantly. The next new feature is the revamped action center. It looks more like a mobile notification bar. You will indeed like this new feature. It allows you to access essential system toggles quickly like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and focus assist etc. And you can customize these toggles as well. You can also change the brightness, volume and switch between audio devices. You can also control media playback from this new action center. Whether you are playing a YouTube video, Spotify playlist, a Twitter clip or a local video, everything shows up in this new action center. The next feature is widgets. Yes, you heard it right. Widgets are back in Windows 11. To access them, click on this icon or use the shortcut Windows plus W. And here they are. These are all the widgets that I have right now. And as you can see, in Windows 11, we have a lot of widgets. At the top of the widgets, you get a search bar that you can use to search on pink. To add widgets, either click on this add widgets button or click on this button. From here, you can add different widgets. I am going to add these two. You can change the size of the widgets from small to medium to large. You can also remove widgets. I am going to remove these two. You can also customize widgets. As I am changing my location from Canada to London and units to Celsius. You can also personalize your interest so that widgets will show you an AI powered personalized feed that matches your interest. The next new feature is multiple desktops. To access it, click on the task view icon or use the shortcut Windows plus tab key. By default, you only have a single desktop. To add multiple desktops, click on new desktop. You can rename desktops individually. As for desktop 1, I can name it as recording and for desktop 2, I can name it as office. You can change their background. This one looks good. You can also change their order. Just like this. You can open different apps on each desktop. You can easily switch between multiple desktops by pressing Ctrl plus Windows plus left and right arrow keys. There is still room for improvement as the desktop icons remain the same on every desktop. I hope that Microsoft will improve this feature in future updates. The next feature is voice typing with auto punctuation. This feature was also available in Windows 10 but it didn't include punctuation. To access this feature, press Windows plus H key. From settings enable auto punctuation. You can use this with applications like Notepad, Microsoft Word, etc. Now let me show you a small demo. Hello, how are you? Check this out. It has added all the correct punctuation. If you type a lot, this feature can save you a lot of time and effort. The next new feature is Redesigned File Explorer. Microsoft has redesigned the File Explorer in Windows 11 for good. The icons have changed and now it has a fresh and modernized look. 
without losing any functionality. The ribbon is now replaced by a command bar. You can create a new item in the current location, cut, copy, paste, rename, share or delete a selected file. You have sort and group options, layout and view options and some other options. Invert selection is a new and useful option. It is smart. If you select a file and right click on it, it will show the most commonly used options like cut, copy, paste, share and delete. The next new feature is snap layouts and groups. Windows is always known for its flexibility as it allows you to use multiple apps and windows side by side. This time Microsoft has loaded Windows 11 with more powerful tools for multitasking. To use snap layouts, hover over the maximize button and you will see different layouts. You can use these layouts to arrange your windows in a way that suits your multitasking needs. If you hover over the taskbar, you will also get that layout as snap layouts. Using these, you can easily organize your desktop and work with multiple windows more efficiently. The next new feature is enhanced Microsoft Store. Windows 11 is equipped with an all new Microsoft Store that is rebuilt from the ground up for speed and simplicity. It is loaded with more apps than ever before. You can install apps like TikTok, iTunes, Pinterest, Netflix and many more directly from the Microsoft Store. It also makes it more accessible for you to search for apps and collections. You can also browse through different categories. You can also use filters to search for games and apps. The next new feature is new settings. Microsoft has completely overhauled the settings app in Windows 11. It's built from the ground up and follows a mobile driven design. All settings are now neatly categorized with menus and submenus, along with a static menu panel at the left. And this time the search works like a charm. The next new feature is new power and battery menu. In Windows 11, despite just changing the look of the settings page, Microsoft also added some new features and one of them is new power and battery menu. You can access it by clicking on this group and clicking on this battery icon. From here, you can change screen and sleep settings, power mode, adjust battery saver settings. After a complete cycle of charging the battery, you can now easily track screen on, screen off and sleep times. It represents this in a graphical interface that is easy to understand. It also shows the list of apps that have consumed the battery. What is your opinion about these new exciting Windows 11 features? Let us know in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.